play the Cemental Chain and welcome to another replay cast. Today we're watching a game in the M4190 tier 8 a premium German light tank. I've reviewed this recently and if you are interested more in the details of the tank you probably should go and check that video out. This is obviously the grand finals version uh, of the tank that was released, well, this month pretty much. Anyways, up uh, Sand River encounter tier 10 game as you would expect in this tank but we have a pretty good start right away get to shoot the leopard he is really mad at me so we're not gonna repeat that and uh, trade that as uh, it is a really bad trade for me quick disclaimer before too uh, much action starts this game was uh, i played this game in my 30 hour live stream and this is the 24th hour straight of me playing all the tanks so if my situational awareness is quite a bit off like uh here or I missed some easy shots that I should not really miss that is pretty much why and uh, yeah that's just something uh, I should get out of the way right away so pretty bad stuff for me get shot by the 3090 and this shot is really poor for me so I'm not really interested in trading again then we trade with a bit of CDC which also isn't really all that great for me I see that some more health and isn't really the tank uh, that uh, I need to kill in order to win the game so Trading badly there doesn't really make that much sense. Also, there is three RDs, so we don't really want to be sitting anywhere but in cover this entire game. And uh, our team is doing pretty poorly now. We already lost three people. And uh, I mean, this is a tier 10 game. I shouldn't really be, be the aggressor. And on Side River, the spotting is quite irrelevant, especially when there's targets left all the time. It's like our RD just needs to start shooting them. And there isn't really much I can do in order to, uh, you know push the tempo of the game, make some winning plays, there's just nothing at, uh, at, uh, at the present uh, time that I can do. So I just drive forwards and backwards and uh, see what happens. So uh, Now the T-34 is trying to use his gun depression, he can't really get enough of it and now the CDC is peaking and we get actually free damaging shots for once and uh, we're gonna fuck off once again. This position I am in is absolutely and totally not RD safe. Uh, closer to the cliff is slightly better, but even that isn't all that great. And I'm kind of playing with the devil here, but then again, if I mean, if I already focuses me in this game, I mean, what the fuck can I really do about it? I... Meanwhile, the rest of our team has pretty much died, and now the score is 1 6. We still have a, you know, we have a solid choke point here. This position should be at least already safe, and uh, we take another hit from the CDC, but we should be able to finish him off. Do that with an auto aim. No, the DVP is here as well. I could load HE for him if he's uh, facing me this in these angles, but then again, for instance, that shot would have done fuck all as it did hit his track. So I don't really bother for it, and he's not looking at me, so I can get some free damage in there. I don't even know how the fuck did that shot hit him. But uh, anyways, he keeps up pushing, and we can't really play against that with uh, the amount of health I have at the moment. Luckily, the LTTB has a bit more health, and he could soak up some damage for me. If I don't get unlucky here, I could take one shot from this and not die. He shot, shoots twice now, but in meanwhile we're gonna shoot this easy fire, which we are going to bounce off the flat of his ass, because you know, light tanks are, are competitive. Meanwhile, the 907 goes ham on the on the TVP, but we still have these shots on the easy fire, so we're gonna take those instead of overexposing to the uh, rest of the enemy team. And uh, the easy fire is gone now, so it's time to do something else. There's Bulldog up there somewhere. We need, really want to shoot him. The T-34 obviously is not going to spot him, but I shouldn't have any issues with that at all. This tank has terrible camo compared to most other light tanks, and that shot was an absolute waste of time. Kind of worried about the 3090 being behind me. He could easily just clean this up and finish the game right here now, uh, but uh, he isn't here just yet. Maybe reloading, maybe just waiting. No idea. Uh, now I have HE loaded for the 3090, but this would have would have been glorious, but I do not hit the shot sadly. And, the bulldog uh, lives for three more seconds than he should have. But anyways, uh, now peeking for the 3090, still have the HE loaded, and uh, this pretty much uh, spoiler alert is going to be the winning shot of the game. See the 3090? Well, no, not this shot, but the next shot after this is uh, gonna be the shot that's gonna ter determine the uh, the outcome of the game in a really big way. So he's turned his back towards me, and I get the shot into the back of him, and. Uh, he gets away, but uh, we, we did manage to do uh, critical damage there to his tank, uh, which I'm going to talk about later. Anyway, so T4 misses two shots, uh, luckily for us, and uh, then is engaged by the 907. We can't get this shot, and we have to lead it quite a lot, and actually do get to hit it as well. And now the T4 lightweight falls to his death, and uh, there goes that. 
Now we can peek for this leopard, maybe uh, there already picks up another kill on our team and uh, the leopard isn't really prepared for this at all. So we do get to pick him up and uh, meanwhile the enemy team has capped already 60% and we have to go for the reset. Uh, probably Ferdinand or already capping. I'm now figuring out what I should do. 3090 is still extremely dangerous for me as obviously it's an easy two shot for him. and. It, the 3090 played really poorly in this game in general, and we're talk about we're gonna talk about that later as well. If you haven't seen this game on live stream, but uh, now we need to go for the reset. They're already 70% in, and if the Arty joins the Ferdinand or the Ferdinand joins the Arty now, then uh, we should have a really hard time getting there in time. So going for the reset now. We still have a T34 and a 907 uh, as alive as well, so. We still have a reasonable chance in this game to come back. We just need to find the Hardys without, you know, getting raped uh, by the splash or just, you know, die to the Ferdinand. So 3090 gets spotted on the bottom there. That's uh, fine with me. It doesn't really affect my position in any way. And we get to spot one Hardy as well. Actually, we don't get to spot him. T34 spots this one. I put a first shot in him and uh, we'll, we're going to go with the second one real quick as well. 3090 does kill the T34, but he does take uh, damage in the process as well. And uh, it's pretty much one shot kill with my HE if I roll okay and or high. There's another shot that, like, Terrible aim by me here, should have killed him right there and then, but uh, I suck at this game and I haven't slept for 24 hours. Somehow I did manage to miss the side of the Ferdy Barn and um, we should be able to kill him, it's just annoying to be sitting here because of the artillery obviously. And uh, we do want to pick this kill up of, of course so we don't have to worry about the cap circle anymore. And now. Two Arties versus me and a 3090 and 308 points. The 3090 could still set on an easy ambush and just uh, just uh, finish this game off. I load my last HE shot here for either the Arty or the 3090. I kind of have to go for the HE shot on the 3090. If I if I want to kill him, that's a huge gain for me. And if I do around 100 damage, I can AP kill him as well. The only issue is if I do around 70 damage with this, it could actually backfire me horribly because then I will actually have to shoot him three times and I will probably be dead by the time. But anyways, just seeing what I can spot here and uh, be spot they've already running away and the HE was kind of useless there. But uh, I mean, at least we banned him. If we hit the tracks, I would have cried every time there, but uh, we don't. So now we're just looking around, trying to put ourselves in a safe position and trying to peek uh, as many angles as possible so we don't get a Surprise 3090 up our ass or wherever he's coming from. I could go for the Arty, but there's a solid chance that the 3090 is playing together with him. At least that was would be a good play for the 3090 to sit around the Arty and make me shoot the Arty so he can kill me. The Arty, however, decides that he's going to take matters on his own hands. And luckily, luckily for me, uh, the, his 9 second aiming time and driving forwards and trying to shoot me didn't work out all that great for him. So we can go for the kill. The 3090 gets spotted behind me, which I do notice a bit too late, but uh, I still managed to notice in the end and we do throw his shot off as well. And now I have a free free time with this Arty. Uh, he's not ever gonna, you know, run away or anything. I'm not really sure. That's why I tried to track him here so much. It doesn't actually matter. See. Just firing and reloading the shit should be around fucking 40 seconds or something. But anyways, we do pick up that kill and now for the super, super anticlimactic ending for this game. The 3090 is just going to run away and never try to face me and just keep running and running and running. And the only way I got to know that is because his team started reporting his positions, which you should never do, but uh, I don't even know why they did it because they lost the game because of it and uh, I guess they just appreciate good sportsmanship or somebody knew me or whatever but I do not recommend doing that and and uh, you know it's kind of a dick move but at the same time uh, we can't understand why the 3090 did it because we looked at the, our critical hit reports in the end and we killed this commander, we killed this gunner, we killed this ammo rack. And the 3090 only has three crew members, so we killed two of them, and if somebody else killed something else on that tank, like, anything, really, uh, he might be super screwed, but uh, we don't know that, so we are just being careful and trying to scout the midridge now, because for all I know, he can be easily setting up a bush and just outspotting me easily and then shooting me in the face a couple of times. I'll stress this one more time. The, the 3090 has the easiest game in his hands now. He goes into the cap circle, he sits there, and then he trades. I mean, it's not that hard for a 3090 to win a fight with a two-shot uh, light tank. 
the other issue that could be here that is literally reloading for like three minutes if his loader died somewhere because i didn't actually do full damage to that guy so somebody else shot him so maybe somebody else did some other critical hits to him but uh, as you can see the enemy team is starting to report his position and uh, we are just you know kind of skeptical at the start and then you know as they keep doing it uh, it seems that they are actually uh, actually telling the truth so i'm gonna go and chase him we still have two four minutes well, almost five minutes to to finish this off uh, but yeah once again not really cool to do that kind of reporting stuff i mean it's not really cool for the 3090 to play that way as well he doesn't even try to go for a win he's like draw all the way and fucking wasting our time but uh again just don't be that guy who just actively reports the enemy position that's just not cool so now, in my head, I'm still thinking that he's going to set an ambush. My first thought was he's going to be sitting at F1 and trying to get the close range shots on me. Even if his gunner's dead, he could still easily hit shots from like 30 meters. Uh, but uh, we finally spot him and he's not even looking my way and he's still running away. And again, 1390 isn't a hard tank to kill other light tanks with, especially if you have 340 health. If I had HE, I could have maybe have a one-shot potential, but I need two shots, which means I need at least five seconds to kill him, uh, or even more, 5.5. And if you look at this dude, he could have drove backwards and got a shot that, like, 10 meters away. There's no way you miss those, and even if you do miss those, if you're fully loaded, you can afford to miss two shots, and I still won't be able to kill him. Uh, but he decides to just run away, and we decide to just go for a terrible shot. He still has ammo, and he is loaded, so we still have to be careful. And again, another position where you could be setting up a really good ambush. You go down there, and you wait in a position where I can cannot use my gun depression to shoot him. Uh, you just sit there and wait, and... I wouldn't be able to do anything, but he runs away even more. I do use do use auto aim because my potato aim in this game is not working whatsoever. Here I should have unlocked the auto aim as he does manage to go hold down in the end, and that uh, uh, once again one another potato play that I'm gonna blame on uh, the fact that I have played this game for 24 hours straight at this point. But uh, he's still running away, and we kind of lose sight of him, which again is annoying and again could kill us, but. This guy just doesn't want to win, he's not even trying, which is kind of frustrating to finish off a game like this uh, in this manner, but uh, I mean, what the fuck can I really do? And now, just a guessing game here once again, and uh, I do guess right, so we can go for an uh, easy kill here and I uh, don't fuck up this shot, so that is the game. So yeah, pretty silly comeback, uh, Ace Tanker 2890 experience, Pascucci's high caliber and top gun. Uh, 4,687 damage done and uh, whopping zero assisted, 101k credit profit as well as 7 kills and 1,605 base experience. And that 3090 is pretty much the only reason why we even have a ch had a chance in this game and the only reason why we won it. He could have uh, committed in that game to killing us at any point when he was still on full health behind us when we were shooting the TVP and all that crap. He could have easily just rushed behind us and killed me and the T-34 and whatnot. But instead he uh, ran away the entire game and uh, didn't really try to fight back. Anyways guys, I hope you got enjoyed this replay cast and I'll see you on the next one.